My name is Junior and I'm from Haiti. I'm a YWAM CIMAC staff. So since June 2008, I came on staff. I'm working with YWAM, especially we in fifth section. Fifth section is, a, is outside of CIMAC. People there, they don't have really clean water. They don't have really money. Then they don't really have hope because they don't have like people, Christian people that lived there before. So they practice voodoo, all that stuff. And then they were they are living in a like rice field. So they, it's muddy there. God Almighty touched my heart and then He put on my heart to go there and then to help them and then help them with prayers and then also to help them medically. Then I didn't have any knowledge about medical thing. So I start talking with my leaders in Waiwa. I explained them about my vision and then God showed me a way to go there. He gave me many supporters and then Waiwa gave me the favor just to go out to study I'm primary healthcare, so I went to USA, especially in Hawaii, and then I, I went there to study for six months. I had many, many supporters that helped me go there. But for three years, they support, support me, and they give me money also, all that stuff. So I went there, my, my school, in my school we had 10 students and then plus the staff. So we were about 14 people. So I've learned so much about um, the people, the body, how the body functions, all that stuff, the disease, how to recognize disease, and then you know what to do when you face with that disease also. So I had really a good time in Hawaii. So I had three months um, lecture phase, and then after that, we went to Asia, especially in Cambodia and Thailand, where we were um, helping people, people up to the mountain, they don't have uh, money to go to the hospital. And then we went there, we, we took a bus, um, taxi, and then to get there. Then when we were there, it was a blessing for them. So we, 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 we faced so many people with disease, like really, really dangerous disease, like pneumonia. And then we saw also disease like scabies, all that stuff. And then God really showed us a, a way to, to help them. So. We didn't go there also to give medical care, but we, we pray for them. We, we did a lot of distribution also. After that, I came to Haiti with all that knowledge, so I brought them to, to the people, especially the people in fifth section and Timonet, where the YWAM um, established a village there from people People from Puerto Point, they don't have any houses to live in the environment. Put them into houses so they can have a better life. And then we go there every week to do ministry. And then we help them medically. And then we help them also with prayers and uh, all that stuff. The child that I, I met in, in Timonet for section, his mom was really worried about him because he had a fever extremely high. So his mom didn't know what to do with him. So I used to go to help them on Thursday, but they, God put in my heart to go the day before, and then I didn't go on Thursday. When I got there, I found this child with that fever really high and then his mom brought him to me. So 
first what I do. I first I pray and then I ask God to show me what to do. Even I even I know that I have knowledge medically. And then I ask uh, his mom a few questions and then she explained me. She gave me the answers and then after that I gave the children. He was about two to three years old. So I had some ta ch children Tylenol and then I, I gave a bottle to his mom and then I explained his mom how to give this medication to the child to, to the child. And then the mom was very happy. She did what I what I told her to do. And then after a few minutes she got back to me. She said, Praise God, thank you so much, Junior. You have my my child. And then he doesn't have uh, no fever right now. He's he is, I can say, he, God healed him. So all that, this is the, all that I know is for God. This is all that I can say. It's not me who, who healed the child, but God. If, if it's not God, I wouldn't go to a few sections with the before. So this is all that I want to say to, to tell you about my school. And I really appreciate your support to me to go there to study. Thank you so much.